The original LAV-25 series of armored vehicles was adopted by the U.S. Marine Corps back in 1983. A total of 758 LAVs of all variants were ordered and fielded. The LAVs first saw combat in 1989 during operation in Panama. These vehicles were widely used during various other military conflicts. In 2004 to 2005 a service life extension program was initiated by the U.S. Marine Corps in order to keep these armored vehicles operational. LAVs in service have undergone some upgrades including add-on armor tiles, power pack enhancements, upgraded suspensions and some other modifications. Upgraded vehicles are known as LAVA2. However despite all improvements these lightly armored vehicles are showing their limitations on modern battlefield. In 2018 a modified Italian Iveco Super AV armored personnel carrier was selected as a winner of the U.S. Marine Corps Amphibious Combat Vehicle Program, which called for a LAV series replacement. This new armored vehicle has significantly improved ballistic and mine protection. It has a crew of three and can carry up to 13 Marines. The amphibious combat vehicle can self-deploy from amphibious assault ships and swim significant distances from ship to shore. A contract was awarded to for the delivery of first 30 production vehicles. More amphibious combat vehicles will be ordered in the near future. It is planned that first production amphibious combat vehicle will enter service in 2019 to 2020. These will be produced at BAE Systems plants in the United States. However, upgraded LAV series armored vehicles are expected to remain in service with the U.S. Marine Corps until at least 2024. The LAV-25A2 is armed with a turret-mounted 25mm Bushmaster chain gun. The same weapon is used on the M2 Bradley Infantry fighting vehicle. At the time of its introduction, the original LAV-25 was a well-armed vehicle, however today many modern armored personnel carriers are also fitted with 20-30mm automatic cannons. The baseline LAV-25A2 is basically an armored personnel carrier. It combines speed, mobility and firepower to fulfill a variety of missions. The U.S. Marines use it for combat and reconnaissance roles, including raiding and screening operation. So it is not just an armored troop transport like many other armored personnel carriers. Dismounts are supported by the firepower of the vehicle. The A2 upgrade introduced add-on armor kit, upgraded fire control system with a new thermal sight and eye-safe laser rangefinder. Secondary armament consists of a coaxial M247.62 mm machine gun and another M240 machine gun, mounted on top of the turret roof. There are also eight smoke grenade dischargers. The LAVA2S are fitted with add-on armor kit, which covers turret, front arc, sides, and some areas of the roof. Additional shielding was added to machine gun position of the turret. Interior of the vehicle was fitted with a spall liner, which minimizes damage once the armor is penetrated. So ballistic protection has been improved. Front arc of the LAV-25A2 withstands hits from 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. Front arc of the original LAV-25 could withstand only 12.7mm rounds. All-round protection is against at least 7.62mm armor-piercing rounds, as well as artillery shell splinters. So ballistic protection of the LAV-25A2 is now similar to that of the Striker, which is used by the U.S. Army. A special kit improved protection from mine blasts and improvised explosive devices. The original LAV-25 was never designed to be a mine-resistant vehicle and recent military conflicts revealed that mine protection is very important. Fire suppression equipment has been upgraded. The LAV-25A2 uses an automatic fire suppression system. Also it has an NBC protection system. Hydraulics drive of the turret have been replaced with electric drive such upgrade significantly improves post-penetration survivability, as the hydraulic drives contain flammable liquid. The LAV-25A2 has a crew of three, including commander, gunner and driver, and accommodates six marines. Soldiers enter and leave the vehicle via rear doors. Also there are roof hatches for observation, firing, and emergency exit. This armored vehicle is powered by a Detroit Diesel 6V53T turbocharged diesel engine, developing 275 horsepower engine is mated to an Allison automatic transmission with 5 forward and 1 reverse speeds. 
Suspension has been improved in order to cope with increased weight of the vehicle. This armored vehicle has selectable 8x8 or 8x4 configuration. On hard surface roads it uses 8x4 configuration for better fuel efficiency and longer range, while 8x8 configuration is normally engaged on difficult terrain. The LAV25A2 is equipped with a central tire inflation system and run-flat tires. A self-recovery winch is fitted as standard. Mobility of this armored vehicle allows to move in advance of marine mechanized formations, equipped with M1A1 Abrams main battle tanks. Despite increased armor and weight the LAV-A2S are amphibious with minimum of preparation and are capable of fording streams, rivers and inland waterways. On water it is propelled by two water jets, located at the rear. This armored vehicle is air transportable by a C-130 Hercules or larger military transport aircraft and can be also carried underslung by the CH-53 Eat Super Stallion helicopter. In 2018 the LAV-25A2 have been certified as air droppable. During the same year, the U.S. Army borrowed LAV-25A2 vehicles from the U.S. Marines as a stopgap solution in order to support its airborne forces. These armored vehicles provide reconnaissance and fire support for paratroopers until a more suitable and more heavily armored vehicle is available. The LAV-25A2 is smaller than the Striker, so AC-17 heavy transport can carry four of them instead of three. Currently the LAV-25A2 is the only armored vehicle in U.S. military service that can be airdropped from an airplane and has a weapon larger than a 12.7mm heavy machine gun.